Hello, everybody. So I'm home in Massachusetts for the weekend celebrating Thanksgiving with my family. And I literally cornered my brother right here uh, to ask him a couple questions about his Tabata Songs endeavor. So uh, my brother Jay Driscoll is the co-founder and creator of all things Tabata Songs. My students um, utilize his music on a daily basis to access their fitness in many different ways. And uh, I think they had a number of questions about his um, entity with how he kind of got the business going and, and, and all things related to uh, Tabata songs regarding his creativity and, and the different ways that he uses that music. So the first question that I have is I think oftentimes people hear the music and they think that you just took the song and then overlaid the coach's voice, three, two, one, go, <clears throat> three, two, one, stop. Could you just walk us through the process of how a song is actually created for Tabata songs? Yeah. So um, th there are people out there that have created some music just like that. They'll take a popular song and they'll just put a voice over it. And so it doesn't line up musically with it or anything like that. It just three quarters of the way through a chorus, you might hear three, two, one, go. And just sort of feels weird. Um, so what we do, first of all, to answer your first question is we... Any cover songs that we do, meaning taking a song that you may have heard of before, like a song that's on the radio or in a movie or something like that, it's called a cover song. So we basically recreate the entire song. Um, so I'm going to use the, the Rocky song as an example. Um, there's uh, you know, a famous song, it's called the Rocky theme song, it's called Gonna Fly Now. We took that song, re-recorded every instrument, um, trumpet, bass, piano, drums. So when you say re-recorded every instrument, that yep. is you played the instruments to record the music. Correct. Okay. Yep. Uh, my partner, Wayno, is, uh, he does uh, most, if not all, the, the, the uh, music and recording side of things, whereas I end up doing a lot of the uh, more video and visual side of things. Um, so yeah, so we don't take the original song that you hear on the radio or in the movie and just put a voice over it. We take the song, we uh, put it to a certain tempo, meaning a certain speed, so it'll work with the Tabata timing correctly, and re-record every instrument, um, like I said, Piano, drums, vocals, we have singers come in sometimes, uh, and we set it up so it'll work with 20 seconds of a work interval and 10 seconds of rest. So it gets really tricky with certain songs to make it work with that. So how long <clears throat> will a given song take to make from soup to nuts? Um, anywhere from um, two days to a month. It can take. And, and uh, the big question that uh, revolves in a lot of my classes is whose voice are we actually listening to? Who's, who is the voice behind Tabata songs that is in these comics all over the, the country? And, uh, yeah. And I tell them is your who's, voice. Who's the welcome to Tabata guy? Yeah. So I am on the first, um, two albums that we did. So meaning I'm on 20 of the songs and then I started feeling like we need someone with a better voice. So um, we enlisted a rapper named Cardiac from Ohio, who just has a great voice, and uh, he he started doing all of the um, all the coaching parts for us. And one question I often get from my students <clears throat> is how you're allowed to use covers, um, how do royalties work, or, or permission, or how does that whole copyright thing work with those types of songs? Yeah, uh, it's a great question. Um, so the long long answer short of that is. You can, anyone can cover, meaning re-record any song that's been put out there, um, but you don't, you don't own the rights to the original song. So you need to purchase what's called a license. And what we do is we we basically all our songs are considered cover songs. So we, I should say, all of our songs that we redo of other songs you might hear on the radio, they count as cover songs. Meaning we don't change the song up enough to the point where it's illegal or anything like that. If you are recreating a song, um, you can purchase a license for it, which gives you the ability to put it on you know, Spotify or YouTube or iTunes or anything like that. And um, the actual original uh, writer or owner or publisher of the, of the song gets a small percentage of that. So um, we're able to do it legally. And uh, there's a lot of people out there that don't do it legally, but you can get a lot of trouble for doing that. So, And from what I understand, your business is primarily online sales. Yeah. And what uh, pockets of the fitness industry do you see using your music the most? We're 
all over the place. I actually learn new pockets of the fitness industry via videos that people post of our music. Um, CrossFit has been really big for us. Um, and a big part of that has been some pretty top-notch elite CrossFit athletes using our music and videos. Um, and spinning class, TRX class, a group fitness in general. Um, we actually just had, uh, well, you're familiar. Uh, you told me that um, the Tabata guy was referenced in a nationally syndicated comic strip called Rhymes with Orange. And it turned out that the artist who I got in touch with, just to find out how she heard of us, has uh, she heard of Tabata songs as well through a spinning class. And mm -hmm. she her teacher uses it often. So that's really common. People use it with um, marathon training, running in general, um, building up a VO2 max. Um, and a lot of people just doing home workouts seem to use it a lot. Mm -hmm. It's convenient, and people like to have someone to tell them when to start and stop. And it's spread all over the globe. It's spread all over the globe. Yeah, we started it as just sort of almost like a joke um, for ourselves. Uh, I was in a touring band, and we created, we were doing a lot of workouts on the road at the time, and uh, Tabata was one that we did all the time. And I remember like sprinting in a hotel parking lot looking at my watch, and <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't fall and get hurt, or doing push-ups and needing to look at my watch, and always, you know, sacrificing form to be able to see the time. So we made some music for it, and what started off as a little bit of joke had just sort of took off so yeah we have um we're getting over a million views a month on our youtube now and over a million streams on spotify right now so there's a lot of people using it and uh, i'm always blown away by how many people do tabata to our music and that's your sole job or career right now that is i'm uh, i'm part-time stay-at-home dad part-time tabata guy <laughs> yeah and i have two more questions for you yeah uh first is what is your favorite tabata song the other that you made or that you enjoy exercising too it's a great question i'm gonna go with the rocky song mm. yeah for both for both yeah <laughs> and then lastly is there anything out there that you would like people who are using tabata music on a regular basis to know about you or the music or your business that they probably wouldn't know otherwise hmm it's a good question i i think um you know, as a musician, someone I've made music for a long time, and I think it's been really cool to find out that people are doing something really positive with our music, with Tabata songs. You know, it's, it's. I always sort of laugh at what the project is. You know, well, I make music. When people ask me, what do you do for a living? Well, I make music that tells people when to start and stop a workout. And if you're not familiar with that, it sounds kind of weird. Um, but to, to hear of, you know, the feedback that people have and how, like, there are people that use this, you know, strangers across the world that use the music day in and day out for their, their workouts. And I'm just, I'm really excited and proud and motivated by that. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So for those of you students that are listening to this music every day with me as we exercise, it's a little bit of information about how it all started and what's happening with it. Thanks for listening. Thanks for having me be the first guest. <laughs> you got it. <laughs>